I think the circus is truly one big family, probably more so than any other kind of entertainment business because the people not only work together, but they live together. They come from maybe 18 or 20 different countries from around the world. The common bond is their talent, is the circus, is this common goal to give the audience something more. That holds everybody together of striving for perfection. Every direction the stars appear A classy collection, you'll see it all here They come here from China, from Kazakhstan too From Argentina, Mexico and France quite a few From Britain, Cuba, Russia, the red, white and blue A whole world of talent assembles for you At the circus, the circus, the circus From city to city across America, when the greatest show on earth comes to town, the excitement always begins with the elephant walk from the train to the arena. This blue unit of Ringling Brothers and Barman Bailey Circus is a very unique community unto itself. It uh, is made up of over 325 people, which consists of performers, the, the working crew, staff, concessionaires, uh, and some family members. And within that, it's like any other community in that we have uh, tutors, means belongs to. school for the kids. We have a chaplain that travels with the show. Clown Alley. Clown Alley. Oh, that's you. We receive our mail, and it's distributed much like any other postal system. Ooh, I got a package. The entertainment that we provide is the greatest show on earth. What it takes to make that all happen, whether it be setting it up in every city or, or packing it away to, to move on to the next city, is really the second greatest show on Earth. It's pretty mind-boggling when you figure it only takes us six to eight hours to set this show up and, and half that time to, to pack it away and move on to the next city. We're good at it, but we get lots of practice. Ladies and gentlemen, Children of all ages, producer Kenneth Feld is proud to present the 124th edition of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, the greatest show on earth. This year's opening number is a dizzying masterpiece of aerial choreography. At its center, Marina Juan perilously battles the pull of gravity, moving through space suspended only by the strength of Sasha Muratov. They are surrounded by an altitudinal web of acrobatic dancers hanging from spinning ropes. Together, they produce a whirling wonder of perpetual motion.
The greatest show on earth is the largest touring live production in the world. A virtual United Nations of performers celebrating talented artists from over 20 countries. A huge international family of men, women, children, animals, and of course, elephants. King Tusk is the largest land mammal traveling the face of the earth. He's just gigantic, he has a super set of tusks, and he's all around good guy. Jimmy Silverlake and King Tusk are the original odd couple of the greatest show on earth. They've been buddies for over five years. They live and travel together, sharing a 48-foot long customized semi-van. I've probably got the most unusual load on the highway today. And on a three or 400 mile trip, why, uh, I mean, I'll answer the same question a thousand times. They want to know how big the elephant is. Uh, are the tusks real? Is this tusk real? Yeah. Are they real? How old is he? 48. Ooh. What's his name? A uh, King Tusk. King, King Tusk. Tusk. I wonder why. Look at him. He's just like looking at Do you have a salad bar inside? Yes. <laughs> is it a big you one? You take him in? It's all you can eat. Wait a minute. All he can I eat? I have to do the work on this salad bar. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not feeding the elephant. Okay. He's fine. A, you can come in then. <laughs> he's a vegetarian. King Tusk weighs a regal 7.3 tons and eats 300 pounds of hay in one day. But he is just one among the amazing pack of performing pachyderms at the greatest show on earth. Graham Thomas Chipperfield was born into the oldest circus in Britain and epitomizes the special bonds between humans and animals in the greatest show on earth. You know, the circus is, is one great, big, happy family. Throughout the, the centuries which the circus has been going, has always been very family-oriented. Uh, for example, my family has been training animals for 310 years. The elephants have always been with my family, always lived with my family, are well, part of the family, like pets. When I was being taught by my father, he helped me a lot uh, with training the animals. You have to watch the animals, you have to spend a lot of time with the animals. For instance, one day I was sitting on the back of Mina and she started to shake me. And then she started to lay down and start to shake me like this. And this eventually developed into a game that we always play now when we get spur time off. I have to ride on the back of Mina and she has to try and get me off. She doesn't throw me off to hurt me, she throws me off gently. So if I were to fall off, she would stop, let me climb back on again, and I have to try and hang on again. Okay, she wins that time. <laughs> Graham won, elephant zero. <laughs> it took me about two years to train Mina and Kamala to do the teeter board. I saw Mina playing and she likes to throw things in the earth. But what I thought was, well, what if I use Mina to throw me up in the air? The greatest show on earth has brought from the People's Republic of China for the first time to America, 
practitioners of the art of bamboo pole balancing. Troop members balance 13 foot long poles, weighing 66 pounds each, in an art form that originated 1300 years ago. They combine gestures derived from Chinese martial arts and the Beijing Opera in an awesome display of strength, agility, and grace. Husband and wife team Chepiakova and Kim are keeping alive a circus tradition by passing on to their own children the unique act that was created by her parents and first performed in the Moscow State Circus. The bears are part of their family, and when they are not in the show, they often play together, which occasionally includes a swim. Ladies and gentlemen, the only act of its kind in the world today, Siberian brown bears and horses performing together, trained and presented by the Chepikov. The act is truly unique since bears and horses have a natural aversion to each other. Hours of training have resulted in complex tricks in perfect synchronization around the ring. T. Barnum once said that clowns are the pegs on which the circus is hung. There are 18 clowns in the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, all with a passion for mirthful monkey business, goofy gags, anarchic antics, and hippodrome hilarities. Most of the clowns in the greatest show on earth graduated from Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey's very own Clown College, an intensive eight-week course of study for aspiring madcaps where many of these wacky pranks were developed. The clowns are the most recognizable of all circus performers. As soon as he steps through that curtain, the audience immediately recognizes him as being a clown and knows it's going to be fun. No! <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, you gotta go like... We're going out to have fun for ourselves and anybody else that we can drag in with us. Kids are easier to make laugh than the adults getting the adults to forget things and laugh. That, that's, that's special, that's more difficult, and more rewarding, I think. Hey, Grandpa! I think the circus is very appealing, not just to children nine and under, but to uh, children 59 and over. Uh, the reason I fell in love with the circus is because 
I had a, a family that loved the circus. I had a workaholic grandfather who one of the only times he took off was to go see the circus. And at that circus, he was not a workaholic grandfather anymore. He was a kid. It's just very special to see that recognition in their eye, to see a group of people that come in on a senior citizen's bus and they leave on an elementary school bus. See ya. This is Mr. Scruffy. He's one of the amazing Muttville comics, one of the 23 dogs that we've rescued from the dog pounds. If you'll notice in the act of the Muttville comics, they're all wagging their tails. That's because they love to make people happy and make them laugh. Accomplished canine comedy in all three rings. In ring one from Argentina, the Astilita Jr. Old English Sheepdog. In ring three from Russia, Svetlana's Canine Review. And in ring two from the USA, the Johnny Pierce Muttville Comics. It's fun to grow up in the circus because uh, you meet a lot of friends from all different countries. You go to school with many, many kids from around the world and there's no ex like racism or like, oh, this kid's not speaking my language, you know, we can't play with them. We try to be, speak the same language, the same circus language. We just have a lot of fun. Maxime Patalinko's father, Valeri, is a master aerial gymnast and has been performing with his partner, Igor Gruzin, for the last six years. Valeri has been training his son, Maxime, since the age of three, and this year marks his entry into an act that now spans two generations. The idea of our act is these two persons that can fly, then uh, this little boy, he is very afraid of fly, but he really wants to. And these two person trying to help him to fly. And he finds himself that he can really fly, he just needs to believe in it. And this two person make a little ballet about this story and he shows how the boy comes to up to manhood. About Ring Three from France, Jean Christophe. And above Ring One from Russia, the Karima. Thirty feet above the arena floor. Pavel Karima and partner Vasily Zinoviev astonish audiences with their awesome acrobatics.
Pavel Karima's daughter, Olga, brings her own special aerial artistry to their act. Swashbuckling Jean-Christophe Fournier combines acrobatic skills with grace in breathtaking maneuvers on the single trapeze. Pavel Karima balances precariously on freestanding stilts high above the hippodrome, supporting Vasily in a perilous display of strength. This year's extravaganza celebrates the arrival of the two newest members of the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey family and its youngest stars, Romeo and Juliet. The reason that uh, Romeo and Juliet are so special to the circus is because they're a symbol of what the circus works for in preserving wild animals. They're the first baby elephants born, two Ringling Brothers, and there's two of them, not one, two. In a way, they are like my kids. They've always just been a part of the family. The theme from the show is a birthday party for Romeo and Juliet. Every show is really a party. Born December 30th, 1992, and January 10th, 1993. Baby girl weighing 198 pounds. Baby boy weighing 227 pounds. Appearing alongside their loving mothers. Romeo and Juliet. You're the greatest couple yet. You're the most amazing pair that anyone here has ever met. Romeo and Juliet. We're so glad at last we've met. You're the greatest in the greatest show. This is not just a, a family show for families to come and see. It's a family show because the entire unit works as a family, from the very top down to the very bottom. The acts that work here come from sixth, seventh, sometimes eighth generation circus. Um, the feeling of family is, is something that pervades everything that we do here. The Mednikovs, a husband and wife team from the Moscow State Circus, are joined by Igor Arefiev in one of the most spectacular high wire acts in the world. This is my dream, working this Indian Barman Bailey Circus, because this number one circus for all, all world. Every day I practice, I work on high wire all my life. I have seven sisters, and all my sisters, all my family work high wire. Just like my life. And I like this, I need this. Circus is very important for me because I'm born in a circus. I spend this all my life and I think my son is going to be the same probably. I try to teach him some acrobatic stunts, flips, hand balancing, just, you know, basic circus science. <laughs>
Fatima is the prima ballerina of the high wire. Born to a renowned Russian high wire artist, she began performing with her family at the age of five. Sasha Mednikov shattered his pelvis in a horrible fall in 1983, but was determined to defy doctors' predictions that he would never set foot on the high wire again. All the Mednikov acts are performed on an inclined wire, but in the climax, Igor's perilous climb is at a gradient of 45 degrees. Appearing together for the first time anywhere, the world's largest assemblage of high-flying gymnastic excellence. In ring one, the Pelican. In ring two, the Kravtsov. And in ring three, the Tereshenko. The three troops are all top athletes, Soviet masters of sport in gymnastics. Using these specially designed stationary bars, they can soar to heights over 12 feet in risky maneuvers that depend on breathtaking speed and precision. My cats consider me to be another lion. And when lions fight, they all like to join in with each other. It's like a barroom brawl. One of my worst injuries was uh, last year in Norfolk, Virginia. There was a, a little fight going on, and I tried to break it up. But my mistake was uh, I turned my back on the animal. She jumped on me from behind. I received uh, 80 stitches and two weeks in hospital. And I learned a very good lesson. Ladies and gentlemen, in the great cage, facing a pride of magnificent African lions. From Oxford, England, Graham Thomas Chipperfield.
complex choreography of this car full of clowns took over 200 hours of rehearsal time. More than a dozen clowns can actually fit inside the car. No animal symbolizes Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus more than the elephant. In presenting a three-ring pageant of portentous, powerful pachyderms, elephant trainers lovingly show the close relationships they have developed with these graceful animals. Elephants have highly developed brains, larger than those of any other land mammals, and respond to human voice commands from trust, never out of fear. about 30 bags of these, 
feeding 24 elephants, 14 lions, 17 horses, 6 bears, 41 dogs, a longhorn steer, and a buffalo requires some special handling in every town the circus comes to. A typical weekly shopping list for the animals in the greatest show on earth includes 10 tons of hay, 1,000 pounds of elephant chow, 1,500 pounds of apples, 400 pounds of lettuce, 100 pounds of dog food, and 1,500 pounds of carrots, as well as 10 pounds of cookies, 10 pounds of marshmallows, 5 pounds of honey, and 100 pounds of bear chow. My goal is to be the youngest flyer to complete the quadruple somersault. I started when I was like around seven or eight years old. I just went out because I saw my uncles practicing and I thought it looked like fun. So I went up and tried it. They, they saw that I did okay. So they put me in the act. The Vargas Flying Troop, one of the most dynamic trapeze acts in the world, is a fifth generation family of flyers with timing in its blood. The Alvarez family from Cuba joins the Vargas family from Mexico in a double display of aerial artistry. The rigging that holds the trapeze wires is 33 feet off the arena floor, and during the act, a flyer can reach speeds of over 60 miles per hour. The legendary triple somersault attempted over ring three by Miguel Vargas and attempted over ring one by Martin Alvarez. Democratic Republic of Kazakhstan, Kadir Khan, and the Kazakh Riders. The fearless Bula Bekov Riders pound their stallions around the center ring on a 10 inch wide, 45 degree incline curve. Their love for riding is inherited from the great horseman warrior Genghis Khan. Kadir Khan at their center is a direct descendant of Genghis Khan himself. in the greatest show on earth depend on human skill, technical precision, and absolute trust. John Weiss, one of the two daredevils shot from Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey's double-barreled cannon, relies foremost on his wife, Laura, who leads the countdown and controls the trigger. The first time I got shot out of the cannon was very, very scary. I was so nervous, 
And I was amazed of the force that this, this cannon can give you. And um, the best way I can explain it is uh, picture yourself parked in your car on the expressway and someone comes from behind about 65 miles an hour, but you're ready for it. That's what it feels like. Ladies and gentlemen, our fearless human cannonballs, John Weiss and Jim Halliday. And now, ladies and gentlemen, get ready, get set, as John Weiss and Jim Halliday make the final preparations to fire the giant Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus Cannon. And now, John Weiss and Jim Halliday are all systems go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please join in the mighty Cannon Countdown. Ready, five, four, three, two, one. The stars of the greatest show on earth. Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus is America's living national treasure like none other. It's a dazzling spectacle of entertainment and death-defying splendor. But above all, the greatest show on earth is a huge, diverse international family sharing their amazing talents with families across America.